Hi, I'm Courtney and welcome back to Haven's Kitchen. Today we'll be making sticky sesame miso chicken drumsticks. I love this recipe because it is the perfect combination of a little sticky, a little umami, a little bit of sweet, and it's balanced out by this really crisp and refreshing slaw. Not to mention it comes together in under 40 minutes and it's only one pan. So I mean, it's kind of a winner either way. If this recipe sounds like one you might be interested in, be sure to subscribe to see our future recipe videos. All right, let's get started. So for today's recipe, we'll be using a sheet pan with a rack, which is where we'll be roasting our chicken drumsticks. You can use any cut of the chicken that you'd like, but we find that drumsticks and thighs, darker meat just tend to lend itself really well to the umami flavors of our gingery miso sauce. And our gingery miso sauce is the star of today's dish. So we'll be combining our gingery miso with a little bit of honey, a touch of soy, and we'll be tossing our chicken once it's been roasted and it's already got that great crispy skin to give it a sort of sticky sauce that's just like finger licking good and tastes really delicious, but also satisfies a part of all of us that wants to get their hands a little dirty. We'll also be building a celery and apple slaw, which is super refreshing and comes together with just a few ingredients. We've got our apples that have been cut into little matchsticks, and I'll show you how to do that. We've also got our celery, which has been cut into matchsticks. And for a little zing, we'll be adding a squeeze of lime and a little bit of olive oil and salt to make our super refreshing slaw. So in order to make your matchsticks, it's really about creating even planks. Whenever you're cutting apples, but particularly when you're cutting them to try to get this like really thin kind of McDonald's french fry-esque shape, you wanna make sure that you are creating fairly even planks. So I'm gonna start off by making my life a little easier and creating a flat surface so that I can lay my apple down flat. And then I will create about quarter inch planks And once you have your planks, you're going to stack them and just slice straight down. And these don't have to be perfect, but you do want them to be thin and relatively even in size. All right, awesome. So now that we've got our matchsticks all cut, for our apples, you'll do the same thing with your celery, just breaking it down into small, about two inch sections and then slicing it that way. Sometimes it takes a minute for you to get back to your apples. So what I like to do once I've already sliced them is just submerge them about halfway and a little bit of cool water and they'll hold just fine while you move on to your next steps. So now moving on to our chicken, this process is actually incredibly simple. We're just going to be tossing our chicken with a little bit of olive oil and some salt, giving that a quick toss in this bowl and then moving it over to our rack so it can roast for about 35 to 40 minutes. So into the oven this goes for 35 to 40 minutes until the skin is about a crispy golden brown and it is cooked to the proper internal temperature of 165 if you have a meat thermometer. All right, so we have our drumsticks in the oven and we're going to go ahead and build our slaw. So we'll start with our apples and we'll just add those to our bowl. We'll add our celery. And now we'll just throw in a little bit of olive oil, a pinch of salt, and a squeeze of lime, just to bring everything together. You really don't need much salt. And a squeeze of our lime. And now we toss. 
and be sure to toss gently. You don't want to break up too many of your matchsticks. I think the joy in this is how fun and easy it is to eat. Like you just kind of like, you pick. This is a very interactive food. You've got like the sticky on your hands. You've got the, you know, celery and your apples and all of them are very just like kind of fun to play with. I highly recommend playing with your food. You know, I think it brings you closer to the flavor. Um, but if you don't feel that way, it's fine. You can eat with the fork, but I'll be doing this dish with my hands. So we can set this aside and now I'm going to build our sauce for our sticky sesame drumsticks. We are going to start with about a half pouch of our gingery miso sauce. And I absolutely love our gingery miso because actually like all of our sauces, it can be adjusted in terms of sweetness. We don't add any sugars to any of our sauces. So you're welcome to add honey or maple syrup if you would like to add that additional touch of a little something sweet to your sauce. Today we'll be using honey to sweeten. And this is what's going to give us that really good sticky, stickiness. We'll also be adding in a touch, just a few dashes of soy sauce. And the reason that we're mixing our sauce in this big bowl is so that when our drumsticks come out of the oven, we can just toss them right in while they're still hot. And our sauce is going to like stick to all of our drumsticks because it's still hot and crispy and it's sizzling out of the pan and it will become more of a sticky glaze. All right, so now we'll go ahead and put our drumsticks directly into the bowl with our sauce. And we'll give them a toss. And you can see that it's already begun to get really glossy and shiny. And as it continues to sort of sit, it'll become a little sticky. So good. Okay. So now that we've given them a thorough tossing, they are really well glazed, really beautiful and shiny. And as we let them sit, they'll become a little stickier, which is absolutely what we want. So I'm gonna set this aside and we will start to... So I'm gonna set this aside and we'll start building our plate. So we've got our chicken all coated and it's glazed and gorgeous and glossy. And in just a few minutes, it'll be super sticky to the fingers. So we're also gonna add in a few of our toasted sesame seeds and give that a toss. Toasting your sesame seeds adds really nice depth and warmth to any of your dishes, really, and so we highly recommend that you toast your sesame seeds more often than not. All right, so there you have it, our stickamy, stick, stickamy? <laughs> our stickamy, okay. All right, so there you have it, our sticky sesame miso chicken drumsticks. I'll be garnishing mine with a few scallions, just for that touch of color. Feel free to garnish yours with a little bit of cilantro if you'd like. If you enjoyed this recipe, be sure to like this video and subscribe to see our future videos. For the full recipe and textable shopping list, click the link below. Thank you so much to our friends at ButcherBox for the beautiful chicken. Thank you so much for watching and cook happy. Yeah.